Shofetim, Judges chapter 13. And again the children of Israel did evil in the eyes of Yah, so Yah gave them into the hand of the Philistines for forty years. And there was a certain man from Sora of the clan of the Danites, whose name was Manova, and his wife was barren and had not born. And the messenger of Yah appeared to the woman and said to her, See now, you are barren and have not born, but you shall conceive, and you shall bear a son. And now, please guard and do not drink wine or strong drink, and do not eat any unclean food. For look, you are conceiving and bearing a son, and let no razor come upon his head. For the youth is a Nazarite to Elohim from the womb on, and he shall begin to save Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. And the woman came and spoke to her husband, saying, A man of Elohim came to me, and his appearance was like the appearance of a messenger of Elohim, very awesome. But I did not ask him where he was from, and he did not declare to me his name. And he said to me, See, you are conceiving and bearing a son, and now drink no wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean food, for the youth is a Nazarite to Elohim from the womb to the day of his death. And Manova pray, prayed to Yah, and said, O oh, Yah, please let the man of Elohim whom you sent to it, whom you sent come to us again, and teach us what to do for the youth who is to be born. And Elohim listened to the voice of Manova, and the messenger of Elohim came to the woman again as she was sitting in the field, but Manova, her husband, was not with her. And the woman ran hurriedly and informed her husband and said to him, See, he has appeared to me, the man who came to me the other day. And Manova arose and went after his wife and came to the man, and he said to him, Are you the man who spoke to this woman? And he said, I am. And Manova said, Now let your words come true. What is to be the rule for the youth's life and his work? And the messenger of Yah said to Manova, Let the woman guard all that I have said to her. Let her not eat any food that comes from the vine, neither let her drink wine nor strong drink or eat any unclean food. Let her guard all that which I have commanded her. And Manova said to the messenger of Yah, Please let us detain you and prepare a young goat for you. And the messenger of Yah said to Manova, Though you detain me, I do not eat your food. But if you offer an ascending offering, offer it to Yah. For Manova did not know he was a messenger of Yah. Then Manova said to the messenger of Yah, What is your name? When your words come true, then we shall esteem you. And the messenger of Yah said to him, Why do you ask my name, since it is wondrous? And Manova took the young goat with the grain offering and offered it upon the rock to Yah. And he did wondrously while Manova and his wife looked on. And it came to be as the flame went up toward the heavens from the slaughter place, that the messenger of Yah went up in the flame of the slaughter place. And Manova and his wife were watching, and they fell on their faces to the ground. And the messenger of Yah did not appear any more to Manova and his wife. Then Manova knew that he was a messenger of Yah. And Manova said to his wife, We shall certainly die, because we have seen Elohim. But his wife said to him, if Yah had been pleased to put us to death, he would not have accepted an ascending offering and a grain offering from our hands, nor would he have shown us all this, nor would he have let us hear the like of this. So the woman bore a son and called his name Shimshon, and the child grew, and Yah blessed him. And the spirit of Yah began to move him at Mahanadan between Sorah and Ishtaol.